my name is Kyle Hargett. I'm a member of the IPP product management team. In this video, I'll walk through the functionality of the IPP to Fewer. Log into IPP. I'm using uh, Mozilla Firefox, but you can use Internet Explorer as well. I'm going to open this uh, Good Order Reviewer work list. And here we find uh, a couple processes, um, this IRA and this brokerage. Uh, that I know will have TIFF images associated with them uh, because these two processes were started uh, via Infinity Scan, uh, actually during the making of the Infinity Scan walkthrough video, which is available uh, also available on the know-how site. Uh, so let's let's activate this IRA process. Good, good order review activity here. Are the activity panel launches. Uh, also notice that. The second um, tab opens. This is actually the pharmacy viewer. Uh, this is new functionality in IPP6 where um, uh, you can configure uh, the documents associated uh, with an activity to be automatically open when an activity uh, is activated. Uh, this can be configured uh, on a tenant level or for uh, individual users. So let's click. Um, this tab, and this will bring up our um, IPP to Fewer. Fewer was uh, developed in uh, jQuery, which is a JavaScripting uh, library. Uh, this means there are no longer any uh, third party software or plugins that have to be uh, installed uh, in order to view TIFFs within uh, the IPP portals. Also, there's no licensing issues uh, like there have been in the past. This is now part of the IPP package, um, so it, it basically comes uh, with the install. Uh, also, since we did develop this in-house, um, we are free um, to extend it to meet any, uh, any additional client needs that uh, uh, may appear in the future. Um, so let's take a look at it. Uh, on the, it's really two panels. On the right side, you have the viewer that, uh, that views um, the, the pages of the, uh, the TIFF image. And on the left side, you have uh, the smaller uh, side panel, uh, which includes a pages and a bookmarks tab. So let's take a look at this side panel. Um, the pages are, are the thumbnails uh, of the form uh, or of the image. In this case, I have a four page IRA document. You see the four uh, thumbnails here. These are in order from page one, two, three, four. Um, there are controls uh, in the toolbar that allow me uh, to rearrange the pages if they're out of order. Uh, for example, I can cut page one and move it down here just by pasting. You'll see page uh, one is now in page two. I can move it back up using these arrows. I'll move it back down. Uh, I can even reverse the entire order so that when I click this, page four becomes page one. Okay, this is very useful um, really in the case of faxes where you get a lot of uh, faxes that come in essentially backwards. Uh, they've been faxed in backwards. So let's put this back. We now have it in the correct order, and we'll take a look at the bookmarks. Um, bookmarks, um, you should be familiar with the book bookmark concept if you've used uh, an e-reader such as uh, Adobe Digital, Digital Editions. Uh, these are essentially links to pages um, within a large document um, that you create that are really arbitrary. You can just create uh, as many as you want, link them to whatever pages you want. For example, this bookmark might be a signature, and the signature is on page three. And when I create this bookmark, it's a link, and then I click it, it takes me to page three. Uh, we also have added uh, an additional uh, concept here of a default bookmark. Um, so what you can do here <coughs> is essentially tag um, a bookmark 
to be um, uh, the page that the image is opened to whenever the document uh, is opened in the future. For example, um, if I wanted uh, this TIFF image to open to page 3 every time that it's open from here on, uh, I could just tag it um, as the default bookmark. And then when I... Um, And then again, downstream, when another reviewer gets it, it'll actually open to page three. Um, let's see the uh, main uh, viewing uh, panel. Uh, and here in the toolbar on the left side, you have the standard uh, page navigation options of first page, previous page. Um, you can actually type in the page that you want to go to, and it'll jump there. Um, next page, last page. Let's go back to the first page. You have uh, options to zoom uh, the image in and out. Um, you can zoom it out, zoom it in by clicking these plus and minus icons. You also have a slider bar that you can use. Uh, third way you can zoom um, and zoom in and out the image is actually to click uh, on the image and then use uh, the mouse wheel. Okay. Um, the several fit to options you can fit it to window. Uh, fit the image to height, fit to width. Um, there are also rotation options to rotate uh, right 90 degrees. Click this one to rotate um, uh, back left 90 degrees. Um, we have a grayscale option if you are using uh, color tips, color images. Um, this invert works with black and white, give you a nice contrasty image if you're having trouble seeing um, an area of the document. And then we have um, a set of, of uh, functionality around annotations and adding annotations to, uh, to the image. You can add a sticky note, uh, highlight an area, um, add a stamp, which is basically a little image so let's, let me demonstrate those real quick. So um, to add a highlight, you basically click the highlighter tool, then click on the area of the image where you want it added. You can then stretch this. You can resize it. But let's just uh, let's add this over this home phone uh, field. Um, it's blue, but maybe we want to change it to some other color. And what we can do is just click the uh, the annotation, click options, and then here we can change it to red or green or yellow or back to blue. Let's change it to yellow. Click off and it's now yellow. Um, let's add a sticky note. So we select the uh, sticky note icon in the toolbar, come down, place it on the image. I'll double click it and we'll add a little note here. We've noticed that the phone number is uh, missing the area code. So we'll just add that little note here. Uh, just like the highlighter, um, we have options to change the color. You can make it pink, make it green, um, change it blue, back to yellow. Uh, I think I like blue, so we'll just change it back to blue. Uh, the sticky notes are also movable, uh, resizable. So we can just stretch it any way we like move it to the area of the page where we would like it to appear. And then the third uh, type of annotation is a stamp. So let's select our stamp tool and then click uh, the image and it places the stamp uh, onto, uh, onto the page. So we'll just mark this one as approved. Um, if I didn't want to mark it as approved, I can actually come here select the stamp. In this case I have a couple different stamps. One's confidential. So I'll place my confidential stamp on here as well. And I can stretch that and place it. Um, so now I have a couple stamps. I have a, a sticky note and I have a highlighter tool. Um, if, if one of these is blocking an area of the image or I just want to get rid of the clutter, I can actually hide these by clicking this icon temporarily go away. I can click it again 
and I come back. And none of this is actually saved. These are actually stored. Um, uh, when I click the Save button, these are stored as metadata uh, with the image. And also, a new version of the document is created. Um, when I do choose to save, um, I'm given the option to save uh, several um, or anything that I've changed. If I've changed bookmarks, page order, rotation, annotations, uh, any kind of document data, I'm given the option to save those. Um, by default, they are saved. So I will save those and continue. As I mentioned, this created a, a, a uh, another version of the document. You may have noticed earlier this was version 1, it's now version 2. I can actually go back and see the previous version. And here you'll see there's no annotations on the original version. If I go back to version 2, you see the annotations. I wanted to show is the configuration options for um, the image viewer. Um, if you click the configuration, this Im image viewer panel, um, you can see there are several different options that can be configured for the tenant or for um, individual users here. Uh, the, the fit to options, whether you display the image at 100% or fit to window, fit to height, fit to width, or configurable. Uh, you can show or hide the side panel, which is the bookmarks and the thumbnails. Uh, you can automatically invert the image. Uh, there are several options for annotations. Um, you can change the, um, the sticky note color, uh, green, sort of uh, pink or red, blue, yellow. You can have it uh, by default, uh, auto bold the text. You can select your um, font size, and whether to underline or italicize all the, all the uh, text. You can select a default uh, highlighter color and you can select a default stamp. Um, the other options here are for um, future functionality. This concludes our walkthrough of the IPP TIFF viewer. If you have any questions or comments about uh, the, the TIFF viewer, you can send them to me at kyle.hargett at sunguard.com.